Hey, 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 my pretty ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is your girl, Suki. I am here with uh, Plain and Makeup by Yolando, the Jamrock Rebirth palette. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. This is how she's looking on the inside. I got some good... Hmm, you just want to stay tuned to the end of this video to see what i have to tell you guys i have some something good for you guys so stay all the way through to the end of this video so that you can see what it is and this is the look that i did come up with so if you don't even know who i am i'm silky if you do thanks for returning but don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that good old notification bell so anytime i do a new upload you'll be the first person to know now without further ado let's go ahead and get into this look I'm gonna go ahead and go on my Rumor Zero One base. I'm gonna go on with my Real Techniques brush. This is the 308 brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and pack this base on. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this color all over the lid. Now, if you feel like your um, base is not thick enough for you, you can always go back in and put another layer. And once you get the base down, you wanna go ahead and just softly blend those edges out up into the brow no harsh lines in between all right ladies and gentlemen that is my base down for my shadow now we're just gonna go ahead and play with this um, look at those colors are so pretty such a pretty palette I'm gonna go ahead and go on with this shade right here which is tough and I'm gonna use this fluffy flat brush and I'm gonna just dab into that just a bit and I'm gonna put that color right above my crease. I'm gonna clean that same brush off and we're going to go into this red shade, which is Sell Off. We're gonna take that color and put it right above that color, but like in between both on it, but above it. I'm going to go in with the shade right here next. This is called Bad Up. I'm going to use that same brush and clean it off. And we're going to go ahead and just take that and put it right above that red shade. Like in between, you know. Just to give it a blend out effect. Alright, so if you guys can tell, those are the colors all down. And they kind of blended their cells together, which is cool, you know. But now we're gonna go into that lighter pink in that shade, in that palette, and put that closest to the brow bone. We just wanna just pat that color right next to the brow bone. Now we're gonna go back into every color in the palette and just introduce them back down so you can really see them and they can be more pigmented. Okay, so now that we have that down, you can really see that color. Okay, now we're gonna take my, uh, this is a flat brush. This is by the crayon case, this is number three. I wanna go ahead and put my blank canvas on there. And I'm gonna saturate that brush really good. I wanna go ahead and just cut that right there toward the brow. Now that we have those weird cut creases cut out, I wanna take the small brush out of that um, set and I want to go on with this mustardy red yellow right here Ooh, this is how she comes it's really really pretty and we're just gonna go ahead and just start placing this right oh we're just gonna place this on the third inner part of the eye be careful with the color application don't forget to go back in with your brush and pat that canvas down so that there's no lines. All right, following that yellow shade, we're gonna go back into that light pink. Using that same brush, y'all know me, I will use the same brush, I'll just keep cleaning it off. Ain't no point in getting all your brushes dirty for one look. Just keep using the same brush. But if it's like a white color, I say no. Nah, use a different brush for your whites. And typically your yellows, but if you can get the color off, why not go ahead and go in with it? 
I'm going to place that pink right next to that yellow. But let's go in with our brush we laid that blank canvas down with and smooth out that area. You just pack that color. You don't have to bring it all on the lid. You want to keep that color high in that cut crease because eventually we're going to end up cutting that crease again. So we want to keep it high up. All right, now that we have the pink shade down, I'm going to go back into this shade right here, which is uh, Bad Up. Same brush. This shade is like more like a, it's not really red anymore. It has like a pink undertone to it, like. But it'll work. We're going to use it. Oh, yeah, this is a pretty color to go next to that pink. And still let that cut crease show through beautiful now, we can make it a little darker but we're gonna go back in with the colors later but we're gonna go back into self off which is this darker red right here and put that on the end there we go right on the end I'm gonna go into the shade instead this color is called fatty and I'm just gonna blend just to the brow so I'm gonna go ahead and go into all the colors again and blend those out all right, so now we have all those colors down. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the crease again. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I'm going to go back in with that canvas. All right, so that is the outline of the cut that I want to do. And then we're just going to fill it in. All right, at this point, I'm just going to get into my good old imagination. I'm going to use the darker colors on the outer corner and the inner corner and then work to the lightest corner to go in, color to go in. So it'll be more like a halo eye. I've never done this, so please don't come for me, sis. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and start with Tough, which is that really like burgundy shade. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right up in here. I don't wanna put it too close to the out, outer part yet because I wanna blend it out. So I'm going to just pack this color right in here. Now I'm going to go in with that red shade again. And I'm going to put that right next to it using the same brush. Flatten out that base before applying or it's going to be a creasy mess. And just start applying that color down. Pack it in there. Wrong color. I'm gonna go back into this yellow shade using this small fluffy brush. I'm gonna put that in the center. No, I'm gonna use this flat brush instead. And lay that right in the center. I don't know where this is going, y'all, but guess what? She's going. I want to go back into that light pink and I'm going to put that on this side of the yellow. So I'm going to put that color right here. I'm just going to pack it on. Don't worry if your yellow gets lost, we can always go back in. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and go into this shade and then the red again. And I think, wait, I think that's all we can be able to fit there actually. Now we need to find a really tight brush. I'm gonna go on with this brush right here. This is my Morphe brush, it's M152. I'm gonna go back into that dark burgundy shade. And I wanna put that on the inner part. Right in there, just. Most of the time you can see where your colors need to be blended at. And if it needs to be blended, just go in with that color, tap it off, and just blend inward. See that, see how it disappeared? make that color disappear honey all right so it don't look as pretty as I want it to be but it's there you don't like it get off my channel all right now I'm gonna take this more fluffy brush and I'm gonna go back into this mustard yellow shade I'm gonna pack that on that brush honey tap it off and I'm gonna put that on the edges of this color just to make it look more seamless 
and more like it's, you know, supposed to be there. And it kind of make all the darkness disappear. And then you just keep blending until it's the what you desire. See that? First it's going to be a messy like on this side. Alright, so I have my face on. It looks good to me. You don't like it? Get off. Alright, next. I'm going to go ahead and go on my Matte Matte Black NYX Eyeliner. And I'm going to just do a nice tight line because I really don't want to mess up this look. It's so beautiful. Just really tight. You want to do it tight but still keep it neat. And we don't even want to go on the inner part of the eye. Tart. Yeah, I'm going to go on my Tarte Man Eater Mascara. And coat my top lashes to get them prepared for some falsies. Alright, so we got that down. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when you get some lash glue, lash glue, lash glue? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when you get some lash glue? I wanna take these lashes right here. I'm not gonna tell you guys what they are yet because hopefully I could be selling these. So keep your eye out for that. I wanna pop this lash right on, sweetie. Kinda get your lashes curved as much as you can so it'll be easier application. Oh my god, these are some fucking beautiful lashes. Alright, now we have those lashes on. I'm going to go on with my NYX Epic Eyeliner. This one's in the color Cosmic Yellow. And I'm going to put that in my waterline. I'm going to go ahead and go into this shade right here and put it on my lower lash line. Take three. Take that darker shade and just put it on the outer part of the eye. All right, now I'm going to go on with this small fluffy brush and I'm going to go into that mustard yellow and just kind of diffuse it on the out, outer part of this color I laid down just to make everything look nice and seamless. For the inner corner, I'm just going to go on with this matte white. It's press press. Really nice white. Really, really, really nice. Alright, my ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished look using the Jam Rock Rebirth palette. Again, this is how she looks. I am going to be doing a giveaway on her. All you have to do is go follow me on Instagram. Okay. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay. Number three, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to share and make sure you leave me a comment of giveaway and you can do it as many times as you want it's up to you so that you can get into this giveaway you just might win you could just leave me a comment five times you might be the one period like whatever but the giveaway is going to actually be this actual palette so do all those things I just said first and foremost but please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like the way this look came out. And until next time, bye.